Hello everyone, in today's video we will be seeing this question from the year 2016. In this question we have to show that in the nuclear shell model the level spacing between the major oscillator shells is approximately this 41a to the power minus 1 by 3 mega electron volt. So here on the right hand side you can see the major oscillator shells which are of the constant spacing. All are having the constant spacing of h cross omega. So we have to show that that h cross omega is equal to 41 a to the power minus 1 by 3 mega electron volts so that means we have to show that it is dependent upon the mass number of that nuclei so let's start with our solution so here in this figure you can see how this degeneracy is removed when adding the spin orbit coupling we get the proper model for predicting our magic numbers so let's stick to our harmonic oscillator so first, let's assume, assuming an extended nucleus of radius capital R, which is uniformly charged charged The total charge on this nucleus is Z times E. So, and let the mass be M and density be rho. So, we have to find out the potential at a radius small r. So, we have to find out this. For finding this, we first have to find out the ER the electric field so we know the total mass is density into volume which is having a total charge of ZE so let the mass of this dotted sphere of small radius R be rho into 4 by 3 pi R cube there is a small r so the charge for this small sphere will be Q upon rho 4 by 3 pi r cube into rho 4 by 3 pi r small r cube. So we can cancel this rho and 4 by 3 pi. So we are left with. So our charge of the small sphere will be Q prime. This is ZE. Q is ZE and this is small r cube and this capital R cube this is our charge so we can use the Gauss theorem to find out the electric field expression so this is electric field this is the surface area and this is the total charge Q prime and this is epsilon naught so the expression for electric field will be ZE R Q over capital R Q. This is epsilon naught 4 by R square. So we can cancel this R square with R Q. We are left with single R. So let's move to the next page. So this is expression for electric field. Now let's find out the potential. So we know this expression E is equal to minus dV by dr. So we can do the integration. Going from r to small r. So let's put the expression for E. This is negative r to r z e 4 pi epsilon naught r over r cube dr and this is v r minus v capital r so we know this v the potential at capital r is equal to the total charge upon 4 pi epsilon naught and this radius of the sphere so let's take the constants out so the integration r to r r dr 
we are putting the value for v capital r the potential at capital r is z e 4 pi epsilon naught capital r so let's do this integration this is r square over 2 this r to small r this is v r z e 4 pi epsilon naught r let's move to the next page so after putting the limits we get this expression let's open the brackets z e 8 pi epsilon naught r square over r cube minus minus plus this is z e 8 pi epsilon naught r and this is v r minus z e 4 pi epsilon naught r so let's take this term on this side so this will become z e 8 pi epsilon naught r square over r cube plus z e 8 pi epsilon naught r plus z e 4 pi epsilon naught r v r so this will become minus z e 8 pi epsilon naught r square over r cube and this is z e 8 pi epsilon naught r this is 1 plus 2 so this is 3 so we can take this z e 8 pi epsilon naught r common so we are left with 3 minus r square over capital R square so this is a nuclear potential this is the interaction potential this interaction potential is because of the interaction between two nucleons let the interaction between two nucleons to be modeled by square well potential with the depth of minus v naught and range r Here R is R naught A 1 over 3. So this is a range which depends upon the mass number. So the mean of many such potentials, many such square potentials can be approximated. with parabolic potential so this parabolic potential can be written as minus v naught this is the depth of that potential well and this is 1 minus r square over capital r square so this is our mean parabolic potential so this is this is the interaction potential so now let's write the modified nuclear potential which comprises of two parts this is the nuclear potential and the other one is the interaction potential so this will become z e 8 pi epsilon naught r 3 minus r square over capital r square minus v naught 1 minus r square over capital r square 
so this is our expression for the modified potential so let's take the r square common so we get minus z e 8 pi epsilon naught r cube and the other one is from this term this plus v naught over capital r square the other term is minus v naught plus 3 z e 8 pi epsilon naught r so this is a harmonic potential this is the interaction potential between the protons so comparing this r square term with the harmonic potential this harmonic potential is half m omega square r square and this is the r square term so we can cancel this r square for large a this r cube which is e, this r cube which is equal to r naught cube a this term will become very small so we can neglect this term it can be approximated to v naught over r square so this half m omega square is equal to v naught over r square so this omega square is equal to twice v naught m r square so this omega is root of 2 v naught m r square so let's multiply this equation with h cross so we get 2 v naught h cross square and this is m r square here r is r naught a 1 over 3 where r naught is 1.3 for me and this let's multiply the c square and we know h cross c is 200 mev for me this m c square which is the rest mass energy of the nucleons we take the value to be 938 mev so we get the value of mc square and we know r square and the v naught the the depth of the well potential is approximately equal to 33 mev so let's put all the values So this is twice 33 this is 200 whole square and this is mc square is 938 and this r square is r naught square which is equal to 1.3 1.3 whole square into 8 to 2 by 3 after solving this we get 40.78 a to the power minus 1 over 3 mev so we can round this off we get 41 a minus 1 over 3 mev so this is our constant spacing in terms of mass number so this is it for this question if you have any doubts related to this question you can write me in the comment box and if you want any other question to be solved by me you can write me in the comment box and thank you for watching this video.